What's up, y'all? This is Michael Camaloy, and you know what? It's a happy Labor Day weekend, and I just want to show you how you can add some metadata to your document libraries, even if you've got folders, because I'm telling you, metadata, that data about data, which describes each line item, you know what I mean, metadata. Like, for example, if I were to open up my friendly Excel, like we all know and love, you can see what's going on in the background. So if I wanted to track some stuff, like, mm, I don't know, name, address, and favorite ice cream. It was my daughter. She'd say pink daddy. How about strawberry? Here we go. So name. Mm, I don't know. Mike. Address. Here. Favorite ice cream. Pink. So you see each line item is just like a document and these columns are your metadata and your choices inside. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Bye bye. Don't save. So it's going to help life make it easy for your users. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your files tab, excuse me, library tab, and you're going to click on create column. Very simple enough, right? From here, let's just figure out what we're going to call that. Let's just say um, department. We'll make it like business-like. Yeah, department. We're going to make a choice. And we're going to go to description. You know, this is some instructions for your people to help them fill this out. Please enter the department. If you skip this, it will not end well. Just saying, okay? Require contains information. Now we don't care about that. Let's enter some choices. Let's say, mm, public affairs, good old HR, and last but not least, IT. You know what? Forget that. We're putting IT first. What? What? now okay and if you've got less than five or five five or less rather like go radio buttons more than five drop downs just a suggestion default value it because it rocks we'll click ok and now we have a department column and you can do this on and on and on until the break of dawn but i just want to show you one column and show you how it works okay so now even though we have folders i'm going to make this view show without folders how how? I'm going to show you how. I'm going to click dot dot dot, modify this view. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm going to go on down. I'm going to click on my folders button and I'm going to say show all items without folders. See? That was easy. Click OK. There's my files. What? Now this works best if you've got a lot of different files, but you're going to get the idea. Just play with it. Just work with me here. So now, um, it's empty. Oh man. Mike, this isn't going to work. Yes, it is. All you got to do, go to your library tab, click on quick edit. Oh, yeah. And now we just find which file. Well, you know what? I think this is an IT file. I think this is going to be a public affairs file. And I know for sure this is going to be an HR file. You know how I know? Because I made these documents all. So click on stop editing. And then there you go. So let's say, for instance, I needed to isolate all my public affairs documents. Click that drop down and oh just public affairs or I want PA and IT there you go and let's say I wanted to clear this out okay we can clear it out or alternatively if you have it like this you can just click on the view again there you go and now let's say you wanted to sort by the department name just click on it one time it sorts A to Z click again Z to A you can do that with any of these that surface. So this is how you can use metadata to your advantage. Please use it even if you do upload folders because as you can see, you can strip the folders away. So this has been Michael K. Malloy saying subscribe now, you rock, and happy SharePointing.